What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and to follow up the couple videos that we've done this week, a lot of you guys seem to like the uh, Pure Gold Crown video, uh, you also seem to like the upgraded Melodic Stream, so today I'm going to bring you a video on a very control heavy team with Therapist Blood Betty, Starwing Jar, all those heroes, and we're going to be testing out what is it called, Dragon Rui here on an iOS account. We're going to be jumping on to one of our viewer accounts, uh, Nubstrike, I love the name Nubstrike, uh, and we're going to see how it works on a Therapist of Blood Betty, because I feel like this is probably the biggest question most players have had. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one, let's jump right into it. <laughs> So being that we're on an iPhone, I, I literally have to have an iPhone hooked up because sadly there are no emulators. So if it looks like I'm looking down a lot, that's because I'm actually playing the game versus playing on one of my monitors. But this right here is the highlight of this video. And I think a lot of people have a question on how does this Dragon Ruby work, especially at Splendid. So we're getting 100 speed, we're getting HP, we're getting 67% control precision and 20% damage reduction. So this became a very control and defensive artifact that additional damage reduction pretty sweet on top of that we have clarity of vision when at splendid offsets 30 percent of the target's control immunity and it increases the hero's control immunity by 20 percent which is pretty cool as well at the beginning of each battle the hero has a 50 percent chance to gain 100 energy and the big big question a lot of us have is does that trigger superfluous oblation aka scarlet therapy at the beginning of battle now this specifically says down here at the bottom at the beginning of each battle or when self is in the battle as a substitution this can't be triggered now typically that's if you're running something that gives energy natively so you start with 100 however we need to see exactly how this works because i haven't seen it tested just yet does it still count this 100 energy boost that it's going to give her as beginning of battle or does the beginning of battle happen and then her state changes, giving her the energy. Now that is a very big deal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump on some random battle here. I don't even know who we're facing, but we just wanna see, does this ability actually trigger? We might as well activate this as well. Uh, throw on some sort of monster. Yeah, wolf works. Let's see how this works in one time speed. So right there, she got the energy and it looks like it worked immediately. Might need to go up against something a little bit more dangerous that has <laughs> the speed advantage against us. Uh, let's see how this works. Now, of course, this is a horrible matchup for us overall, but I'm kind of just looking at the mechanics of this ability. Does it trigger immediately at the start of battle? Well, not that time because it didn't trigger that time. So let's just go a couple attempts and see what happens. We need to see, nope, she didn't get it again right there. And again, there's going to be a lot of RNG on this, but you know it has a lot of RNG? Void campaign, and we love it. So then again, man, three times in a row, not hitting the energy, which is rough. Um, hopefully it's not like disabled. There it is, right there. So it does, in fact, CC before the enemies even get to go, which means this actually might be better than even Golden Crown. So let's talk about what's happening with this artifact i figured it would work this way turns out it looks like it does so essentially what's happening is there is a reason why normal artifacts to give energy don't immediately trigger it and that is because this ability here says it cannot be triggered at the beginning of battle but there's certain phases you go through end of round beginning of round uh, beginning of battle everything that happens before that because if you remember one thing that used to happen too and is why i kind of thought this was going to be when we had the auspicious lucky cat in the pre-nerfed version these prosperities happened at the beginning of every round and they happened of course before the enemies attacked but it had this weird like state where like the beginning of the battle started buffs happened that happened at the beginning of the battle and then this thing triggered and very much in the same way, this ability is happening after the battle starts. So it gets around that little caveat of superfluous ob oblation cannot be triggered at the beginning of battle. Which means this artifact is in fact absolutely busted for a therapist of blood Betty. Because that means especially if you have her core of origin, she's going to be CCing enemies the second the battle starts. 50% of the time, but as we all know, 50% of the time, it works every time. 
Now I do want to state this is going to be more useful if you have her noble core, at least the first primary core, because as we all know, uh, the CC chance is a little rough when you don't have the extra attempt from a core. However, the fact that this also is giving control precision and control immunity offset means the normal ability of this actually has a much higher chance to CC enemies. And I'll show you guys right here. We'll jump back into this fight and I'm going to turn her core off so you guys can see the true chance of this actually happening. So right here, uh, you can see we CC'd all but one enemy, which is just absolutely insanely good. Normally, when she's doing these things, it ends up not being that great because she doesn't have a high chance of control. But now that we're running a Rui, even if she doesn't have a core, this is really, really strong. Like, absolutely strong. You see right here, we're still hitting four. I guess we only hit three of them. Really, if you're going all in on this Betty strategy, you need to at least have a primary core because then there's pretty much no chance that anybody on the enemy team does not get CC'd by this combination. Now, taking a look at the artifact Pokedex, we, of course, can really only look at the upgraded version. But if we do come over to here in Ormus Workshop, we can even see the base version of this artifact. And it does not have what you want. You can't get away with only getting two of these, much like the crown and everything are, like, at least in a decent state here. This one really doesn't get much. It just gives the additional control immunity to the hero you have it on. Even when you go over to here, uh, you still don't have it. You need to go all the way up to the big juiciness in order to get that 50% chance to get 100 energy, right? Even here, yeah, it's not there. So you have to go splendid on this one if you want it, which means you need four of those origin chests and four Rui Scepters. But I must say, if you have Therapist Blood Betty, she is one of the stronger heroes on your account. This artifact is going to be one of the biggest power gains you could ever have. Are you going up against waves and they're just not hitting your Betty at the beginning of the battle, even though she has that full energy? Well, guess what? This artifact right here solves every single one of your problems. This thing is probably hands down the best artifact I've tested so far. Granted, I'll stay, still say the pure gold crown is like the best overall one. I still like Magic Stone Sword when you have insanely high HP heroes. But as far as a very niche set, not even niche because everybody has Therapist Blood Betty. If you have a Therapist Blood Betty, you want to work towards this here. And again, even if you don't have her core, this thing can still be absolutely insanely good. The other thing this could be also be useful for is Lord of Fear Aspen. Because as you guys know in the early game, a Rui Scepter in Void Campaign is a lot of times better than a damaging artifact. And on top of that, you're getting the speed, you're getting control precision, you're getting HP. You're also getting that 20% damage reduction now. And you're getting control immunity to yourself, which is just absolutely amazing so let me know what you guys think this hands down is my favorite so far thank you guys so much everybody who's let me jump on their account and test these different artifacts because as you guys know you need a lot of chests to do a lot of testing see you guys next time